So you want to learn graphic design? Maybe you've been intimidated by Adobe or other platforms. I understand. I totally get it. I have designed on Adobe for seven years. It is not the easiest thing to work with. And before that, I, I've been in marketing for 20 plus years. And before that, I was hiring graphic designers to do all these things. And, and even the smallest thing, and don't get me wrong, I totally appreciate the talent um, that these individuals brought, but just even the smallest thing cost so much. And I was like, well, if I could just do this, if I could just get it from here on to my computer and I didn't have to pay that fee to the graphic designer, which is when I started to design for myself, but it's a process. I mean, you have to really be dedicated to learn Adobe. And so today I'm going to help you start with something new, something different. It's called Kittle, and we are going to dive right in. I'm going to show you how to use it. It is significantly less intense than Adobe. So if you wanna learn how to do graphic design, if you want to do this for your business, you're a teacher, you're a crafter, you wanna start a POD business, a print-on-demand business, whatever the case may be, today's video is for you. You are with Kim Byers, let's get into it. Okay, so here we are in Kittle, and you can see straight from the homepage that they are all about helping you to design with ease because you can see straight up across the top, what do you want to make? Do you want marketing, social, stationery, apparel, all of these things? They have templates for all of them. And if you scoot down here, you can see t-shirts and logos and hoodies, uh, posters and bags. Now, if you are doing POD, um, meaning print on demand, and you're working with a specific vendor, they even have templates for those vendors. Um, and then you can see that you can even search these templates by things like topography and vintage and streetwear, whatever it is that you are looking for, they will give you a template, a kind of bouncing off point. If you go down into the bottom left corner and you can click on pricing, and it's going to show you that there is a free version so you can get 20 AI credits which means you're going to be able to design an AI. I will do that in a separate video because their AI tool is one of the best. Um, I've tried multiples on different platforms and I really do like Kittles a lot. You're going to be able to work on 20 projects. You're going to have 100 megabytes of upload space. Now, low res image export, which means they're not going to let you upgrade an image to something that is like print worthy on a POD product until you pay for at least their pro $10 plan. And that's understandable, right? Because they can't give everything away for free. Um, and then a commercial license um, will require attribution, which means that if you use, like say you download the low res version in the free and you use it as a social media post, they are just requesting that you would also um, give attribution. And I think it will actually watermark that design. So, I mean, for free, you're just basically tell them, hey, I made it on Kittle. But for 10 bucks a month, you're going to be able to get all of these things. Okay, so going back to the home page, we are going to start with a very simple project and I'm going to show you how to use templates to create your own thing and change elements, change colors, change text. And so let's go ahead and choose a Christmas design, keeping with Christmas in July. So from this, you're going to be able to scroll through just tons and tons of designs. And so I would ask you that when you're looking at these designs, don't just look and say, you know, I really like everything about it. No, if you see a design that has a great font or a great element and you're like, I could build on that, that's the design that you want to choose. So for instance, even if you were doing gift tags like these and you wanted to already have the setup of the shape with the hole, you could pick this and then you could change the patterns, you could change the colors, change all the things. So we are going to start with a very simple design, one that I just think is so, so cute. And I scroll through these and I'll be honest with you guys, I like want to heart all of them. <laughs> There's a, this is so fun, right? But we're going to use this guy today. Okay, so now that we have our design, the very first thing I want to do is I want to click on the title and I'm going to copy it. I'm going to scoot over a little bit. I want to keep that original and I'm going to paste. And so now I have a complete duplicate of the original design. And I'm gonna do this until I finish up because I just wanna make sure that I have all the elements and I don't mess anything up. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I am going to remove our bear or I'm going to hide him. 
and that way I can easily work with the text and plus I think I'm going to change that element. So I love working with Kittle because you click on the font, it tells you immediately what kind of font it is, um, and it's going to tell you the size, and it's going to um, give you an opportunity to do glyphs if that font allows that. It'll tell you what transformation it's already done in, and it will allow you to edit that transformation. It gives you the color. There's just a number of things that you can do with Kittle and they're at the click of a button. I love how easy this is. But we're going to change our text to say hot, and then this is going to be cocoa, and then this is going to be vibes. And so we are going to replace our bear. I'm just going to move this down slightly. Oh, the other thing is I want to point out if you look into your layers, not only can you see all of these things, but then your snow is in a folder together, which means it will move together. But you can double click on an element and move that in. Everything is editable, which is fantastic. So I'm just going to move him there. And so now what we want to do is we want to replace our bear with another element. And so we're going to do some kind of cute hot cocoa. I thought that would be a lot of fun. Um, and then once we bring that element in, I'm going to show you how you can change the colors. Now, obviously, you could click on your color here. It's going to give you all the colors that are currently in the design, but we are going to be able to use this eyedropper tool and get the hex code or the RGB for anything that we bring in. So, for instance, if you like a specific color palette, but you don't want to use that element in your design. You could upload that color palette and put it on this canvas and then you can use the eyedropper tool to steal that color. So the next thing we want to do is replace that bear. Now you can look over into elements in Creative Fabrica and we could type in hot cocoa. And you see that there are some there that we could grab and use. You could even use something cute like this and it's going to allow you to edit the color palette. So if you didn't like the, the color palette, I don't like that design. And Kittle is still fairly new, so they are building that elements library. But I use Creative Fabric. Okay guys, so it is currently, as of recording this, this is July and it's Christmas in July. And so this is um, something that I just felt like I had to share with you guys because I did this last July. I signed up for for the annual subscription to Creative Fabrica. They have over 9 million graphics. Yes, heard me right. <laughs> 9 million graphics, 175,000 fonts. And so whenever you are building out your designs and you're looking for things, you can pop over. It's like $3.99 a month, right? So you can pop over and download whatever it is that you want to work with. And then if it doesn't work out, you can scrap it and you don't feel guilty because you bought this graphic or this font that didn't work ultimately for what you were trying to build. Not only that, right now, if you do it this month, between now and July 31st, 2004, you're going to get $59 worth of vinyl um, from Cy Caesar, Cy Caesar, <laughs> Please say that wrong, but you're going to get like a gift bundle basically shipped to your house for more than the price of the subscription with Creative Fabrica. And they have daily giveaways. So I'm just saying you might want to pop over. I put the link down in the description and check it out. Um, they are giving away things like Cricut makers and big, huge uh, presses and all the things. So you may just want to pop over, not till we're done with the design, but you want to pop over and check that out. So let's pop over there really quick. So this is what Creative Fabrica looks like. I would take you to the homepage, but I don't want to lose what we found here. And you can just search hot cocoa or cute hot cocoa, and it pulls up a number of options for you to be able to work with this. And you download those high res to your computer, and then you can upload those into Kittle. Let's go back up to our text color. If we click on the color, there's a little eyedropper tool right here. And so I'm going to be able to go and put it on top of whatever color I want to grab. So let's just say I want to do the blue. How cute is that, right? And it's a, an exact color match. And so then I am actually digging the word cocoa like it is, and then vibes, I had already pulled that from the pink here. And so now you have this completely new graphic that is all your own. And then I also did another one which was a little bit less watercolor-ish. And how cute is this, guys? I'm kind of digging this one. 
But this can then, guys, be turned into a sublimation print. It can be turned into a POD product. It can be turned into stickers. Whatever you envision this to be, and how simple was that? You were able to start with a template, and you were able to edit it the way you wanted to edit it, and now you have this beautiful project. And so the last but not least, what you would be able to do is go up into download, and then you're going to, first of all, choose the artboard that you want to download. I don't want to download all of them. I'm going to unclick all and just click on the one that I finalized. And now we're going to be able to choose quality. So if I were putting this on something that I was going to print with POD, I would change this to 300 DPI and then remove that background and optimize that quality. Now these are things that are only available to the paid program. So if you are doing the free version of this, you could download it at 72 DPI and give that away as a free printable or just use it social media post and that would be totally fine. But if you want to print this as high res, you're going to have to uh, up your game a little bit. And so then we would be able to download. Okay, so I hope you found that helpful and I hope that you will pop down and get the link for Kittle and check that out. And I hope that you will pop over to Creative Fabrica and check out the deal that I was talking about. It is such a game changer when you're trying to design and you don't have to like piecemeal and, and buy things all the time, but you can pull together and work with something. And then if you don't like it, you can scrap it and it's not a big deal. And so I hope that you will stick around for the next video where we're going to talk about wavy text. And I'm going to show you how to do that really cool wavy fonts and text that you're seeing in all the things. And I will see you there.